Three, two, make money. Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another video in which today I will be your host, D Free, DBZ HD. And uh, for today's video, I am joined by the one and only Mark, aka the one and only Real to Real Productions. Go ahead and say what's up, bro. You know, you really shouldn't. You have to abbreviate your name. I thought we established this. <laughs> I do abbreviate my name, but for some reason, my name, I'm the guy that goes by a million different names. You know, some guys call me like DBZ Freeze, like Dino called me that for like one time. Theo called me in a video, he was like free DBZ, and I was like, what the fuck? What is so hard about my name? I literally say it every video, I'm D Free, but it is what it is, you know? You just gotta change it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm just thinking of just like reestablishing a whole new channel name, but anyways... All right, so guys, today we're talking about Black Goku, Goku Black, etc. We're going to talk about what he could potentially be. Ha ha ha. Because if you guys are paying attention, I hope you're paying attention. He's made several references to Trunks and saying that, hey, you're a Saiyan or you Saiyans are crazy, etc. Whatever he said, you know, he's blatantly calling out the fact that he's a Saiyan. And he said it several times to the point that it seems like to me they're making it well known that he's referring to him as such because he's not a Saiyan. So, Mark, let's go ahead and get started right now. And guys, I'll let you know that Mark is like the um, the only YouTuber that you'll ever meet that comes up with like these crazy outlandish theories. So he actually has a crazy idea for her, for us here, guys. So let's go ahead and get started, Mark. What's your idea, man? Crazy outlandish? Okay. Yes, I create like these fan fiction type of theories and everything, but that makes no sense. But okay. It, no, that's not fair. It's for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's for good reason and I try to connect my big thing is I'm trying to connect everything that's happened in super to make it actually look like a real its own story you know not just like four separate events that happened like right after each other okay sorry then so guys let me rephrase <laughs> then because Mark is the one youtuber in our community that comes up with these perfect theories that just basically are perfectly there to weave the story of super better than it weaves itself now Mark get started <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you didn't have to defend yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. So, basically, I think it's kind of obvious at this point, whether it is or not, that w whatever Black is or Goku Black is, I don't necessarily think he is Goku. I don't think a lot of people think that he is Goku, but it does raise the question, well, what is he or who is controlling him? And I have kind of a theory about that. I don't remember the guy's name, but they actually recently gave us the, the name. Masu. Yeah, yeah, the the guy who looks like everyone's kind of saying is a Makayoshin or whatever he is or something. So I had this silly little theory that kind of makes him, like kind of retconningly makes him the Frieza of Dragon Ball Super and the entire series. And if you don't really know what I'm talking about, so, you know, Dragon Ball happened and then Dragon Ball Z started and they introduced the Saiyans, which like came to Earth and then they kind of like build it up to... Well, it was Frieza who blew up planet Vegeta and everything, and that kind of retroactively made Goku. Because Goku lost his memory, he was a strong Saiyan, there wasn't anyone to like go back and look for him, he wasn't really on the radar, so he, everyone just forgot about Goku until Goku got the power to actually beat Frieza. So what if this new Makayoshin guy is basically just kind of a revamp of Frieza? So, in order to kind of explain this, in the Battle of Gods movie, not the Battle of Gods arc, there are two distinct differences. First of all, when they actually started writing it, uh, Beerus was not supposed to be like a cat god or anything. He was supposed to be kind of an entity that kind of went around and made things kind of dark or evil or something and brought about like this sense of destruction, not literally a destruct god of destruction or anything like that. So taking that concept and also when they got, when they, when they like brought forth Shenlong in the movie, Shenlong was like, okay, well, when the Super Saiyan God appeared, he was used, like the Super Saiyan God power was used to take out evil Saiyans, which didn't really make a whole lot of sense because we all know that Saiyans really aren't as strong as they want everyone to believe they are. They're just kind of ridiculously weak to a degree, like, a, you know, when you look at Frieza and anyone else in the series, they're ridiculously weak, and the power of a Super Saiyan God should have been able to, even at a very small amount of time, taken out all of the bad Saiyans. So, but, okay, but taking the, that information and going into Super, when they called out Shenlong or something, he just talked about the Namekian Book of Legends and why or how you make a Super Saiyan God with the ritual, but he didn't explain why it was actually necessary. It wasn't because of Saiyans, it wasn't because of anything else. So, what if this guy, this Makayoshin figure, 
was the guy like kind of controlling the Saiyans in kind of the same way that Beerus was supposed to in the original movie before Toriyama came in through like kind of making them evil, kind of spreading the evil in their hearts and making them kind of evil. And so, and so actually having six purified or pure of heart Saiyans is an extremely rare thing. And they gained, they got like got together and they were getting all this energy from the Makaioshin to make them strong, giving them the power to go Super Saiyan God, or maybe maybe even retroactively, all of this God influence gives them gives them the power to go Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan two, Super Saiyan three, and what if they got together because they're pure of heart? It's really rare, but they wanted to fight this guy, so they became a Super Saiyan God to kind of banish him or beat him into submission until this particular part of the timeline in Trunks' timeline. So. That's why he hates Saiyans. Like he tried to make like a perfect killing machine and actually make them like make them do his bidding, maybe take over the gods of destruction, maybe take over the universe with these Saiyans, kind of what Vegeta's been saying this entire time. But when but when they took him out, he got mad. Now he wants to eradicate all Saiyans. Lo and behold, Trunks is the only one left in this particular timeline, so he wants Trunks dead. And so that's basically it. I feel like the one thing that would kind of tie this all together is the Universe 6 tournament and the fact that it's a mirror universe, but not mirror in the sense that because Frieza is bad in Universe 7, Frost is e or good in Universe 6. It's completely opposite. Like, they're both still dicks. They just do it in a different way. But the one thing that is really different is that the Saiyans are actually... Uh, the Saiyans are actually good in Universe 6 when they were really big dicks and evil in Universe 7. Maybe it's really big dicks. Yeah. <laughs> not to not to keep just ranting about this, but all of this is going on and so so all of these like these Saiyans are evil in Universe 7 because of this guy and that's probably why and that's probably retroactively they can help explain why they went they the infighting destroyed planet Sadal. They went to planet Vegeta, killed all the Tuffles and and eventually got taken over by Frieza, retroactively making this one guy responsible for the entire series thus far. So that's my theory. God, <laughs> God damn it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even like have a segue to go into that, so I'm not even going to just like speculate on what I think because that was like incredible theory. If you guys watching this, make sure you're checking out Real to Real on the side note. We're not done yet, but make sure you're checking him out because this guy does this kind of shit. My brain just doesn't think that way. Like, it doesn't. Um, I, I think that would be crazy if that did happen, and it would be really well told. But the thing is that it would be a little too well told for Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it just is not possible, man. I'm sorry. Uh, not to say that Dragon Ball is always you know horribly written or like it's not it doesn't have a good overarching story. It's just sometimes they they pander a bit and make it a bit too simplistic. So I think that your story may be a little bit too complicated for what they're trying to accomplish. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the crazy things that we've um, heard as a community as far as like maybe Goku Black's identity. Uh, do you lend, lend any credence to, you know, aside from your theory, of course, do you lend any credence to it being a Goten, a future version of Goku or, you know, something like that, like a revived Goku or something like that? I, I don't. I mean, like, Goten I don't think makes any sense. If if this was main timeline Trunks, then I think that would be really cool, but I don't think it is. It's it's definitely, it definitely is yeah. the future Trunks that we're all aware of. Mm -hmm. But the only the only reason why I, I I agree with you the only thing that really has me up in arms about this is the fact that in the Toriyama interview that came out like a couple months ago he was like hey it's gonna get a little crazy with this upcoming arc with as far as like the time travel and all that stuff goes and I'm like so does that mean that there's gonna be inconsistencies I mean we know the hair thing is an inconsistency but it's not a big deal right but like does that mean that maybe there's other inconsistencies because we still never got any context as to why Mai is so young, et cetera, et cetera. Like, w were she and Trunks a thing somehow? Like, what was going on with that whole scenario? We never found out. So, and by that vein, it's totally plausible to say that it could be like a Goten, but it's just outlandish in the sense that we know as like a fandom that the Goten does not exist in that continuity. Mm -hmm. So like it just doesn't make sense in that in that way, but I feel like this show is gonna do anything, you know. <laughs> I just feel like it's so unpredictable. <laughs> they don't care about continuity anymore. They're just gonna rewrite whatever they want and do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So like that's my thing. I don't think that's the case, but I do think that something like a revived Goku or a controlled Goku would be interesting. But that doesn't really, um, you know, solidify the fact that he's like, hey, I'm not a Saiyan. Basically, that's basically what he's saying. I'm not a Saiyan. Yeah, you know, he's referring to Trunks as such. So I just I think that would be interesting, whether or not. 
uh, it was a controlled Goku or something of that nature. That previous theory is like, it's completely outlandish. It's way too complex for any Dragon Ball theory thus far, but it's something that I would really like to see because it would actually give a whole lot of credence to almost everything that we've seen in Super, thus everything we've seen, and give a different aspect or kind of an idea of everything that we've seen thus far. So not only is not only is this kind of responsible for the entirety of the series, but it's also responsible for the characters and everything they kind of went through retroactively. Uh, one of the things I've heard, and you know, I, I don't really know about this, but the, the, uh, Goku from another universe. Now I was, I did actually say a lot that like, no, that's not possible because the whole twin universe thing and that universe six doesn't even have a, uni like a universe six Goku. So how did the other universes when they're not really even tangibly connected have a universe Goku? But then this last uh, episode 47 just kind of throws out of the window saying that there's 18 universes completely throwing the whole twin universe rule out the window. So who really knows? I think there are some, I've heard a lot of people talking about this. Uh, I've talked about it at length as well. I feel like there are some issues where maybe Goku Black really isn't Goku Black. He's just taking on the appearance of like a heroic figure in Trunks' life and making him see Goku. Making him see something that's kind of all good, all pure and everything and turning him against it or something like that. Because I did like that because I mean starting off you know they're showing him as like this black blob of nothingness you know for a while but you can kind of interpret that a couple ways is that maybe he was in disguise when he's showing himself as Goku. He also does have that demonic aura that black blackish aura mm -hmm. so you really don't know but also you can interpret it another way in that they're just trying to be mysterious and they're saving the big reveal for the end of the episode mm -hmm. but he's also like this has been so traumatic for trunks i mean he's willing to punch goku in the face as soon as he sees him i mean uh didn't even notice it was goku grant he didn't see those bright colors on his shirt or nothing <laughs> he just didn't even notice but well, granted that goku should be dead in this timeline so he really doesn't know what he's getting himself into but you know yeah yeah well, Mark, thank you for joining me today, bro. It was definitely fun having you on your video or having having me on your video on my <laughs> channel because that's what this turned into. Uh, everybody, like I said, you should check out Real to Real. Uh, he does all this stuff all the time. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just at a loss for words, man. <laughs> I just had a loss for words. I didn't expect all that. <laughs> <laughs> and before Mark actually went on a rant for like five or six minutes, I didn't expect that shit at all. We've done like 20 videos, man. 30 videos. I've never expected that. I've never seen that. Anyways, uh, guys, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go get something to eat. Uh, thanks for joining me, Mark. You guys take care.